Now, if you know me, you know I always tell you, be aware of the Iron Man 3 effect. The Iron Man 3 effect, what is that? It is the effect that the storyline or the character in the storyline is not written highly. They should be written in a comic book or everything they're being adopted from. I am the Mandarin. I'm what's hip. I'm what's happening. I'm blowing up right now. You know, you shouldn't get upset when they tweak the character or do a little thing with it. You shouldn't get mad at all. And I tried my hardest with this. Dragon Ball Evolution. I was like, let's go with what the storyline's giving us. But it's still the same character, Goku. Like, the mannerism of the character is still Goku. He's training, he's a high school student, okay, but he's still training, somewhat goofy. Not all the mannerisms of Goku is there, but you get the idea. You can say it's Goku. He's doing um, key blasts, he's wearing the outfit, stuff like that. The last airbender. It's still Aang. He does airbending, he's unsure of himself. He doesn't have the goofiness that, that Aang had in the cartoon, but you can get the idea that's Aang. They have their characteristics. And the reason I'm pointing out these bad movies, Mortal Kombat, you know it's Luke Kang. Street Fighter, you know it's Gal. You know it's Gal. Uh, I'm just leaving with that one. But the reason I'm pointing out these bad movies, because you know those bad movies, they at least try to keep it as close. Maybe the storyline wasn't right, maybe it was dry, and maybe they did a few things that was off, but you at least knew what it was when you walked into it. The Death Note movie from the year 2017, let me double check this real quick, 2017 Death Note here, yes, which is an hour and 40 minutes of my life that I will never get back. Trying to be different than the manga, than the anime, but it still reminds you of the manga and the anime and I could not separate the two. I wanted so bad to watch this movie and be like, I'm not going to take anything I have from the anime. Anything I have from the manga and just watch it as you know, first time viewer and don't hold anything from it. But when the character's name is Light Turner, you're like, okay, so they're going with Light. All right, cool, cool. Maybe it won't be anybody else. Oh, no, they're going with L. Okay. All right, cool. And there's Mia. God dang it. We are literally doing the, the anime. But they were going to turn around so it's not the anime or the manga. And. I couldn't separate it. I wanted to do it so bad. And because of the fact you couldn't separate the characters, you know, they try to call it that character. This is what makes this movie a bad movie. And and then you're like watching it and you're like, okay, so here's the character, but then the personality's not matching what the movie stated there was. And or there, what they were doing did not make sense with what the movie stated they was. And you're just like, who did this? Why? Why are we doing this? And here I am, because you know, I just reviewed Death Note on Monday. I'm gonna review the Death Note 2017 movie on Netflix. Have mercy on my soul. What's up, world? Welcome to another episode of Movie Breakdowns. I'm your host, Ali Zaka. What's up, world? Welcome to another episode of Movie Breakdowns. I'm your host, Ali Zaka, and what is Movie Breakdown? The movie review show where we look at new, no movies, give them a grade, A through F, plus and minuses do count. And if there's a movie you want me to review, let me know. Please put in the comment section below and try to get to it as best I can. I also have a Patreon, and on this Patreon, you get first come, first serve. So, you ask for a movie review, I get to it immediately and get it out on YouTube and Facebook for you and put it on that Patreon for you. Actually, you get on Patreon before you get it on YouTube and Facebook. So it'll be right there for you. You also get uh, movie reviews that come out on Facebook and, and YouTube. I don't know why I'm going to say the same thing again, but it's pretty much what you get. You get everything that everybody else is not getting. You have to wait until, you know, October to get this, but now you're getting this in September. Also, on Patreon, you get movie thoughts, my first thoughts of movies, you get trailer reaction, trailer reviews, and many more things. Now, let me get into this version of Death Note. Before I get into the full thing here, I do want to make sure, because I made a mistake earlier in my Death Note review, review that 
I mentioned that if you give up the death note, you die. That is not the case. Light actually wrote that in the death note midway through the series to pretty much stop L and them from throwing the, the um, death note away. So they they realized like, oh, okay, that we can't throw this death note away because we'll die. Also, if we use the death note, write somebody's name in it, um, the user would die. So also it got light and the rest of his gang off of L, or sorry, not light, but L and the rest of the gang off of Life Trail because Light was in captivity when for more than seven days when the Death Note was getting used. So that's what I made a mistake of. You can get away the Death Note. It's just that Ryuk gets to decide when you die, pretty much, or when you die, Ryuk comes for you instead of like just natural causes or whatever the case may be. So that's the one caveat I messed up there in my Death Note review. So if you've seen the Death Note one that came out Monday, sorry guys, but. Unfortunately, this review is not about the animated series or the anime. This review is about the Netflix movie. If you're going to do that, if you're going to make a movie and you're going to use the characters from the manga and try to tweak it, at least make the character's motivation on the movie really clear and really thought out. The main characteristic of Light in the manga and anime, he's a genius. He is super smart. One of the smartest people in the world. The main motivation of L is to stop Light and Kira, but L is chill and cool about it. He's never really showed aggression. He never really got off, like got rattled. In this movie, L is chill. Chill, pretty much cool, up to the point where Watery gets kidnapped and then he just loses his mind. Completely flip character, like just an outraged maniac and make you think like, why is the police department working with this guy? Why is the police department working with L when L is just going psychotic? I don't like that. Mia, why is Mia just hell bent on killing people? For what reason? Why is she like this? The movie don't explain it. The movie had no idea why she does it. Matter of fact, she just want to kill everybody. Oh, people said this person did something wrong, we gotta kill him. And Light actually points out in this movie that like, we just can't go kill random people. We gotta at least see that the fact they're a suspect in something, that they've been caught by the police or whatever the case may be, and then we kill them. We just don't kill random people because somebody said their boyfriend messed with them or their boyfriend cheated on them, cheated on him with another person, so therefore they should get killed. And he points that out, and the scenario was a little bit more, more like that in the, in, the sh in the movie. But yet, she just driven on it. So we don't know why she driven like that. But she's a cheerleader at the beginning of the movie. But yet, she has this darker side. Light is probably a smart character. Yet, he immediately reveals the book to a girl he has a crush on. And shows this is how it works. So you already know that she doesn't like Light. She likes him for the, for the book. In the, in the anime, Mia does like light she falls in love with him but she's in love with Kira first and then sees light and then she becomes even more love and enamored and just become like a follower and light actually manipulates her and uses her to his bidding which is messed up light knows what he's doing mia knows what, what light's doing she doesn't care she's literally just a lackey and a pawn for light in the manga and the anime in this movie they're almost two budding heads light is like we shouldn't be doing this try to kill off police officers and stuff like that while Mio's like, no, we should kill police officers and do all this stuff. And apparently, anything you write in the notebook happens. You want somebody to use the notebook to write somebody else's name in, that what happens. And it's like, okay. And the book, the movie does do a good job taking all the rules and stuff like that, so therefore you have an idea which the show doesn't really give you those rules until, like, it gives like a couple of rules and then there's more rules added. And then, like you're watching the manga, I like, watching the anime, you do get to see like it, between commercial breaks, there's like rules stated. In the movie, it kind of lays it all out. I do give him props for doing that. William Dafoe is the best thing in this movie, hands down. Sadly, William Dafoe got dragged into this movie, unfortunately. James, who is Light's dad, he did a good job. And Elf, for all his acting, he did pretty good when it came to acting. But Nat Wolf who plays Light cannot act. Like, it was bad. The dude, at the beginning of the movie, it was like horrible and cringy, and then towards the end of the movie, it was cringy again. And the pacing and the way he talked and he handled things was like really off. Mia, who's played by 
Margaret Crawley, same way she is like when they put the express different emotions, it's I think they do it over the top. I'm not sure they know it's a joke or not, or they're just playing in on it, but they really they really uh, I gotta play the 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 screaming scene and I gotta play the um uh, Scream your scene first. I'm just gonna let you listen to it real quick. And then I'm gonna play them on the Ferris wheel screaming at each other. If I can get those clips, I'm gonna throw them in here because then you understand what I mean. Why I'm like, why? Wait, this makes no sense. You put my name in it, didn't you? It was only if you took the book, and I thought I could convince you not to take Are it. Are you kidding me? Like, you put my name in the book. I got mad. I'm taking. Are you? You me? said you loved me. I thought you wouldn't take the book. The pacing, the 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 tone, the voice, of what you guys are saying came completely out of nowhere. And it's like okay, and light has always been cool. Comic collective in the manga and anime, he never really like got frazzled he when he did he always took him on to cool himself but he never really lost himself and this movie shows him all that also Willem Dafoe Ryuk character forces Light to use the notebook and then tells Light in the middle of the movie that she shouldn't use the notebook characters flip flop all the time L flip flops Light kind of flip flops which he kind of stays a little bit he's not as bad as everybody else Mia is just straight dark she doesn't flip at all like her mentality is that mentality and that's it um James doesn't flip flop, he stays the same, but also Ryuk flip flops. Like, he just like, I want you to play the game. So, I'm like, what? What is this? So, Ali, what's the movie about? Simple. Light gets the notebook, he starts writing people's names in the book. For some reason, he lets um, Mia get the book, check it out, see the book, write in the book with her. They have this little hookup with love relationship thing because of the book. She's only there for the notebook, really. She didn't really care about the dude if he was he didn't have it. And they're pretty much killing everybody off, all the criminals and stuff like that. Mia wants to go a little further and kill off anybody who does anything wrong. And now the police are like, okay, we gotta bring somebody to trial here to do killing over 400 people. You know, he's doing some good to the world, but he's doing it unjustly. And they're like, oh, we got to search the world because the dude calls himself Kira and pretend to be Japanese because Kira means killer in Japanese. Which, he had the people before they die write Kira on the wall in Japanese. So everybody's like, oh, we have to find the killer. He's a Japanese guy. A woman. L comes out of nowhere. L's like, no, he's not Japanese. It's, it's, it gets off our track. He's actually American. And he's coming from Seattle. Which... He gets this point right. I do like the fact he got um, dissected by realizing the person who was the first one of the first people to die at Thaisakira was in Seattle. So therefore he's like, okay, the dude has to be in Seattle. Alright. Cool. And then he finds the police commissioner, which I think James was a commissioner. I'm not sure. He's one of the police officers. And he automatically assumes it's James's kid. And he's like, I used to go across the database and stuff like that and came to the conclusion that it's your, your kid and it has to be him. That's not how investigation work, but okay. And you're like, Ali, L did that in the anime. L had like a 5% thought that it was light. And then as he kept following light and got around him, realized, no, you actually are Akira. I just can't prove it yet. And light was like, you're getting on to me, but I'm about to try to find a way to make sure that you don't get my path. Oh, here's Mia. Oh, here's somebody else. Oh, here's another person. And the movie kept throwing back to the manga and the anime. I'm just like, I just want to separate the two, but I can't separate the two because they're following the, the beat of the movie, of the anime. They're following the beat of the anime. I just want to separate them. I want to separate them. Let me separate these two things. But no, I can't. So, L continues investigation. Kind of find out that, ah, oh, it is you, Light. Which, how that scene happened, they meet each other at a, like a coffee shop and literally confront each other back and forth. Light knew who L was because L went on TV and said, I'm L. And he reveals his identity to Light right there on the spot. Light played the game to me if I was Kira kind of game, like what would I think and stuff like that. But Light did this in the manga 
an anime to try to get L off his trail and say if I was thinking like this is how I do things, how I play the game, because he was supposed to help Light, all right, Light was to help L capture himself. In this movie, they don't do that. In this movie, Light just pretty much said, I am Kira and I'm coming for you, and they go back and forth in the split spat. Also, James, Light's dad, went out and also said that, like, you know, we're coming for you, Kira, can you kill police officers? Which Light never did it, actually, Mia did it. Which, for some reason, Light never put two to two together. He had to know that she was killing police officers. She's the only other person who has the book with him. By the way, she can't see Ryuk. Don't know why. But okay. It's cool. The movie continues where now it's Light and Mia versus L. They attack Watery, who is L's like, like butler, bodyguard, um, father figure. Looked over him. Watery gets killed, trying to reveal it. L's real name. L goes on a rampage, starts chasing down um, Light. By the way, Light and Mia go to a what was it? Homecoming dance. And Mia reveals her true plan that she wants the notebook all along. And that she really didn't care about Light. So Light is getting chased by L. The police officer is chasing down L and Light is trying to race to the fair, the Ferris wheel that was early in the movie, because Mia said he'll die at midnight. Apparently, you write somebody's name in the book. If you burn that page before, uh, that before the time comes, the person won't die. Well, there's only be one page in the book that can be burnt with somebody's name on it. So a bunch of shenanigans happen. There's a cat and mouse scene. L get knocked out by one of Kira's followers. L somehow appeared out of nowhere in a police car. The Ferris wheel comes down, Light drops, what's her face, drops Mia, Mia dies, Light survives, and then Light tells his dad that it was me all along, and here's how I did it. And at the end of the movie, you get L contemplating writing, writing Light's name in the book. Because L just, cool comic collective, just really a psychopath all along. <sighs> yeah. Now, what are the good things about this movie? The story, it was done okay. Easy to follow. Uh, Lakeith Stanfield as L was pretty good. Uh, Shay Wigham as James Turner, he was pretty good. It was good. The movie's mediocre for what it's worth. The bad stuff. Nat Wolf's acting, Margaret Qualley's acting, the... I didn't have anything wrong with the CGI, I didn't mind that. I didn't like the fact that we didn't get to see Ryuk's face, but that's okay. Um, pacing of the movie is off. Some of the story beats with light, just revealing the fact that he is Kira to... or he is the person with the death note to Mia, and that kind of stuff made just... Out of no sense, he's probably the smartest person in the world. He just don't reveal to random people he just met. He literally just met Mia at the beginning of the movie and gave it to her, but he had a crush on her. But he's like, oh, here's the book. This is what we do. This is what I do. Stupid. Like, that's not a, a smart thing to do. And the character who's probably the smartest person in the world not making any smart moves. Like, he's making much of, a bunch of dumb moves, and they keep trying to tell you, oh, he's a smart guy. He's a smart guy. I don't see it. You don't have to be telling me somebody's smart. You should be able to show they're smart. Stupid. Um, motivation. Why is Mia hell bent on killing people? Light motivation that he wanted to be justice in the world and be a good guy. That makes sense. Okay, easy to follow. But, yeah. Everything else, no. L's motivation, to get a revenge to her, which is like, this dude who wasn't supposed to be revengeful is now like a person who bent on revenge and vengeance. Makes no sense. Watery getting killed for what reason? And how he dies? Makes no sense. In the movie, it picks you up when, you know, Light gets the notebook and that happens. Then when L comes to the scene, picks you up. But then once that simmers and L confronts Light, it, it really slows down. You kind of get lost in it. You really don't care about everything else that happens. And then it picks back up at like towards the end with the chase scene um, after Watery dies. So the pacing off in this movie, but the acting for some stuff is just like, 
Man, it's bad. I actually laughed at a few things here. Let me put my notes over because I'm gonna see what else that I laughed at. I actually wrote ha ha in my stuff. The acting is the acting's horrible. I <laughs> actually say ha ha. Yeah, that's that's pretty some stuff here. L being aggressive, I don't understand why. Like why is he aggressive? That makes no sense. Also, I wasn't expecting the death stuff in the movie, like the goriness of the movie when people were dying and stuff like that. I didn't expect it. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess we're going there. Cool with me, but I just didn't, didn't see it coming. The first one I was like, oh, where she shows my head getting slotted off, like, cut off. Like, oh, wow, okay, this, okay, cool. Then I was watching 300, my Death Note movie, but <laughs> all right. Um, I do, the cuts in the movie is kind of neat. I do like that. It reminded me of 300. Um, like, there's this part where James called the police department and told him Chase, Light, or Chase L. And it slides through a uh, few transitions from different scenes. Remind a lot of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I, I, I nodded at that. That was pretty cool. But, yeah, this, and this movie doesn't really keep your interest, unfortunately. It's not a good movie. It's very mediocre. Very mediocre. All right. Actors and actresses. Or I said Nat Wolf, who played Light Turner, is, he's not good. It's... It's, it's, it's bad, not gonna lie. Like the beginning of the movie and then towards the end and it just, it's not good. Um, Lakeith Stanfield as L, I felt like he got L's mannerisms right. The way L walked was cool. Like he got that right. I feel like he's one of the best things about this movie. He seemed off, but he also seemed like he gave it more, like he earned his paycheck, put it that way. I give him props for what he did when he tried, but yeah. Um, Margaret Qualley as Mia. She's not really that good in this movie. Shay Wiggum at uh, James Turner. Thought he did good. Like, no really complaints about him. William Defoe as Ryuk. Defoe is just freaking phenomenal in everything he does, so take that. Um, and then Paul Naka Naka Uchi? Paul Naka Uchi as Watari. He's okay. That's about it. Um, once again, I've not seen these people in other movies. I know Nat Wolf did the Naked Brothers Band or Naked Band or I look it up real quick. Yeah, the Naked Brothers Band, um, which I believe is a Nickelodeon show. He was in that and I didn't really watch yeah, the Naked Brothers Band was a Nickelodeon show. I didn't really watch that show at all, so I really can't tell you much about it. Um I don't know the director Adam Wingard, you know, I wasn't sure if it's was directing this movie, because I've not seen other movies to direct it in, but unfortunately it just wasn't, it wasn't a solid movie. They, it was mediocre all around, and heck, the CGI was good, put it that way, it could have been worse, but yeah, should you watch this movie on a Friday night? No, save your Friday night for something else. Grading time. I'm going to grade this movie, Death Note, 2017, a solid D. It's a D movie. The, the acting for some people was bad, but for others was good. The music wasn't bad. The music's okay. The movie score is okay. Um, they had some music that seemed out of place at times. A bunch of love, like high school love music, but it's probably a high school movie. The CGI wasn't bad. It was cool. It, it just, the pacing of the movie is off. It doesn't really hold your attention. And the character motivation just doesn't make sense. Some of the motivation for the story was like hit and miss. And I'm just like, okay. And you got characters who start off one way and then flip and become another way. Characters who say one thing and say, turn around and say another thing. It's just like, what, what are you trying to put here? Like, what are we trying to get? Characters who are really smart and you got to reveal that they're smart, but they're not really smart because they're making dumb choices. Like, why is Light leaving the, the Death Note sitting around? at his house, sitting around in his room, sitting around on the couch, like allowing his girlfriend to go pick the book up and walk out, giving it to a girl he just met five minutes ago. Oh, look at this. When just just dumb stuff. So yeah, it's it's a it's a D D movie. It's very, very shame. Uh I do know there's is a like legit Japanese version of the show of the manga and anime adaptation movie, live action movie that came out I believe in like 2005, 2006 around that time that was good. I remember watching it while I was in high school in my Japanese class. It was really good. Um, 
that does the anime and manga so much more justice than what we got in this movie, this horrible movie. But, all right, guys, if you've seen Death Note, what did you think? Please put in the comment section below. I'm curious what your thoughts are. Other than that, see you guys in the next episode of Movie Breakdowns, and keep being awesome. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I really appreciate it. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Also, you want to see what else I'm doing in my normal life and other things that's going on, please follow me on Instagram at Ali underscore Zaka. I'll put it right here, right here around my face. Yep, right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Also, if you want more episodes of Movie Breakdowns or Grind Tour Success or whatever it is I'm doing on YouTube, you know what? Follow my page right here, like I said before, the little comment thing right there, right there, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then, you can watch the last episode of Movie Breakdowns right here, and watch the last episode of Grind Tour Success right there. Other than that, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate y'all. See y'all next time, and keep being awesome.